let's get started. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be using all Maybelline products today. So I'm going to start off with my face first. For that, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Foundations. Please don't mind my cap. As you can tell, I do use this a lot. I'm going to be mixing two shades, Sun Beige and Toffee. So that's 310 and 330. I'm going to mix these two. I'm just going to dot this all over my face before I blend it out and I'm just going to go ahead and blend it with my L'Oreal sponge oh and I didn't prime my face today because I actually don't have a primer from Maybelline but I have used their baby skin primer I think that's what it's called baby skin or baby face something like that um, and that one's really good so if you are looking for a primer from Maybelline I like that one but for today I didn't use any primer oh I think this is the first time I'm filming with my new hair <laughs> But yeah, I changed my hair, got balayage, so yeah. I think I'm going to start on the eyes before I do concealer and all of that, just in case there are any fallouts. So for eyes today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline City Mini Palette, and this one is in Chill Brunch Neutrals. I have used the other one, I think it was called Downtown Sunrise, in my previous video. And I really liked it, so I wanted to try another one, and this one really stood out to me. Okay, so I'm going to prime my eyes. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer to prime my eyes. And I'm just going to blend this out. Now I'm just going to set the concealer. I'm going to take this shade right here. Where is it? <laughs> right here. Oh, that's pigmented. Nice. Alright, so next for my crease, I'm going to be taking this shade right here. It's a nice mauve purple tone. I'm going to just put this in my upper crease. Oh, this is nice and pigmented. I like it. So whenever I'm adding my crease color, I always just like to tilt my head back a little bit so that I can see exactly where I need to place the color. And it's just really helpful with that. Alright, so next I'm going to take this shade right here. Um, I'm taking this on my Sigma E35 blending brush. And it's a darker purple shade. And I'm just going to place this right below my first shade. And then also kind of in the outer. So first I'm going to do some circular motions right in the outer corner take it up into the crease. So these colors are really nice and pigmented. Really like and so far I don't have any fallout. Next, to highlight the brow bone, I'm going to take the shade right here. Once that's done, I'm going to take this gold right here. And I'm just going to pick it up on my finger. Oh, that's pretty.
I like applying glittery shades with my fingers, so I think it just gives you a better payoff. And sometimes I have to use a brush because my nails are really long, but when I can, I try to use my fingers. I'm also going to take a little bit of the silver right here and add this kind of on the outer edge. I'm taking a brush for that. And I'm just going to add it right here. Just a little bit on top of that darker purple I used. Alright, and so I'm just going to curl my lashes and put some mascara on. Next, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. I love this mascara. You guys already know that. I use it all the time. This mascara is so good. Like, look how long my lashes look. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw on some lashes. I'm going to be using the KISS number 11 lashes. They are my favorite from the drugstore. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and put those on and I will be right Okay, so I have my lashes on. Now I'm just wondering, do I want to add a winged liner? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to do a winged liner. Just a small one um, to kind of complete this look. So let's do it. Even though I have my lashes on, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but let us try. We are good. So now I'm just going to do some concealer. For that, I'm going to be using my favorite Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I love this concealer so much. It's definitely So now let's do some contour. I'm going to be using the Maybelline Master Contour Stick today. So basically, don't mind that it's dirty because I did try to film this same video yesterday. It just didn't work out. Um, so one side has the contour shade and the other side has the highlighting shade. I'm not going to be using the highlighting shade because it is a little too dark. I got this in the shade deep. Um, they also have medium, but medium wasn't dark enough. So I decided to go with deep. So I'm just going to take the contour side. Oops. I think this is a nice shade for contouring. It's, it's a cool tone and doesn't look too ashy to me. I'm using this Luxie brush. Blend out the nose. Um, now I'm just going to set everything with the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Setting Powder and this is in the shade Light Medium. I have used this powder in my previous tutorial and I really really like this powder. It gives you a very beautiful finish, so kind of like an airbrush finish, and I really, really like this powder. So I'm just going to set my under eyes and everywhere else that I added the concealer. So first, just blending out all the creases, and then go ahead and set it. And then I'm just going to put a little bit right underneath the contour to clean it up. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to 
take my favorite product. This is the Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. Everyone's been talking about this. I finally got my hands on this because it's been sold out everywhere. Um, I'm just going to add that to the highest points of my cheeks. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, wow. This is very nice. Take some right here, on the chin, a little bit on the forehead. Next for blush, I'm going to be taking the Maybelline um, Fit Me Blush, and this is in the shade Wine. I used one of the blushes in my other tutorial as well, and I really liked it. Um, these are not new, they just changed the packaging, and I think. It's just a newer formula. So now I'm just going to finish up the eyes. So we're going to go back into this palette and I'm going to take this golden shade right here and smudge that onto my bottom lash line. I'm going to take the other side of this brush. This is an Urban Decay brush. And I'm going to take that darker purple and put this on the outer edges. Just to make it a little bit smokier and tie everything back to the top half. And then to finish off the look, I'm just going to add some mascara. It's the same Maybelline Big Shot. And I love this for my lower lash line. And I'm also going to take a little bit of that highlighter and add this into my inner corner. Because this highlighter is so pretty. And we're just going to finish it off with the lips. For lips today, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Vivid Hot Lacquer. I think these are lip gloss. But yeah, that's what I'm going to be using. I'm just going to line my lips first. I'm sorry, but I don't have a Maybelline lip liner, so I'm going to be using this NYX lip liner. And this is in the shade Charmer. This is pretty. Oh, I like this. They're kind of like a thicker lip gloss. Alright, so that completes this look and I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do want to see more of these kind of looks, like one brand tutorial, then let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear your suggestions and I will see you all in the next one.